Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 29th of July. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will stay rather unsettled for the next several days. A lot of clouds around, occasional showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two along the way. Good news, temperatures below average. And we're still watching potential tropical cyclone 9. What's that thing going to do? Let's go. Here's the upper air look across the country today. Again, the ridge across the deep south, a little weaker. The air aloft, a little colder. The air more unstable. And there's the visible satellite view, a number of showers and thunderstorms in progress across the state today. That was the radar at 222. And again, if you miss the showers today, if you need some rain, you'll have plenty of opportunities in coming days. And yeah, no 90s, heat not a problem today. Look at those numbers. Birmingham 81 at 225, Tuscaloosa 79. Pell City 77, and temperatures will likely stay below average through the weekend, and nobody griping about that. Flash flood watch for parts of uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. The east is pretty quiet. Out west, a few excessive heat warnings in effect there because of a ridge. Chance of severe storms over parts of the high plains through tonight, and also parts of the far eastern Great Lakes. Tomorrow, there's a marginal risk kind of clipping the extreme northern part of the state. And also one up on the upper Atlantic coast. And on day three, Friday, the marginal risk of severe storms just west of Alabama. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heaviest rain, uh, most likely on the south Atlantic coast with our tropical system. We'll see how that plays out. For Alabama, the amounts for the northern half of the state between one and two inches. And again, this is just an average value here. Uh, and then down to the south, lighter amounts as you move down toward Mobile. So let's talk about this thing that, uh, you know, the outflow looks pretty good on the tropical system. Again, this is technically potential tropical cyclone number nine that's coming through the uh, Leeward Islands, approaching Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. But if you look at the satellite here, there's just not really a well-defined center. This thing has just had a really hard time getting its act together over the past few days. At some point fairly soon, this should become tropical storm Isaias. And uh, here's the latest track coming from the Hurricane Center. comes right across Hispaniola tomorrow. And again, the mountains on that island, they peak at like 10,000 feet, and they can be very disruptive. And often they'll just tear a tropical system apart. Whatever comes off the island will scoot across the northern coast of Cuba. And the latest forecast track has the thing uh, coming up towards Cedar Key Monday morning. And remember, the wet side, it's the east side. So what this will do, if it verifies, is kind of wet down the Florida Peninsula, not the panhandle, the peninsula, uh, maybe Sunday into Monday. This is the uh, modeling. And again, until we get a low-level center established and better upper air data, you're going to see a lot of fluctuations here. Uh, but this thing should recurve east of Alabama. Uh, this is the GFS Ensemble, and really it's a little farther to the east compared to the NHC track. But again, confidence is fairly high that Alabama and the central Gulf Coast, that's Gulf Shores, Panama City, Destin, Pensacola, we're on the dry east, we're on the dry west side of that thing. But that's not a lock. Understand, once we get this thing organized, we'll have a much higher confidence forecast. Here's the intensity guidance. And again, most all the models keep this thing as a tropical storm. And I think that certainly is the right uh, idea with interaction with land and some shear uh, around the northern coast of Cuba. So we'll keep an eye on that thing. Let's go to the GFS. Here's the 12Z run valid tomorrow at 4. Again, you can see a broad troughing across the region. And again, tomorrow will be much like today, mostly cloudy, occasional showers, maybe a thunderstorm, highs mid-80s. Friday, again, a number of showers and storms around, some sun at times, upper 80s. This is Saturday as the weekend begins, a broad surface low just north of the state. And again, uh, we'll see a lot of clouds around, some sun, a few passing showers and storms, upper 80s. And evidence on Sunday, showers thinning out a bit, highs 87 to 90. They'll still be around, but probably not as many. Let's go to next week. There's Monday and Tuesday, pretty standard summer weather, partly sunny with scattered afternoon and evening storms. Highs around 90, and Wednesday, a week from today, a broad trough just to the west, and again, hot, humid, scattered storms, 
the high close to 90, which is below average, a little bit for this time of the year. We'll go out 10 days, Saturday the 8th of August. The good news, the nasty heat bubble is way out west over the southwest United States. And again, there's a little weakness in the uh, ridge here. So again, not much change if this verifies. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean, about an inch and a half, but you could clearly see more than that. Highs are just not bad. Upper 80s, a few low 90s along the way, lows around 70. And the brand new CPC outlook for August 6th through August 12th, showing temperatures at or below average around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking, what can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.